evening, everyone. I'm Kim Lemon. And I'm Ron Martin. Two people are now charged with the murder of a sixth grade teacher at Brownstown Elementary School. Tonight, they're behind bars. New State's Lancaster reporter Caitlin Smith is live from the prison with the top story. Police say the 16 year old murder suspect led them right to his alleged accomplice, a man who turned 25 years old today and is spending his birthday in there. The cops, really, they just ran in my house and they had my girl, my little brother in there on the ground and they came and arrested my friend Tom. Jared Clinton says Thomas Moore often stayed at his apartment in Sterling Place in Lancaster Township. The two met at Champs Barber School. Ten days ago, we got this video of Moore giving out free haircuts in exchange for a donation to Toys for Tots. Jarrett says that's the man he knows, not someone accused of a brutal murder. You never had any problems with him? He didn't seem violent? At all. At all. He didn't seem like the violent type at all. Court papers tell a different story. According to 16 year old Marcus Rutter, who was also charged with Nicole Mathewson's murder, the two went into her apartment on North Franklin Street looking to steal from her. Rutter says Moore was the one who assaulted her so badly that she died. Closed my mind. Like, I didn't know nothing about it. Like, pulled the wool over my eyes. Like, I didn't know. The documents show Rudder told police Moore then came to this Turkey Hill off New Holland Avenue and used Matthewson's debit card to withdraw $500 from that ATM. Two days after that, he's walking into a courtroom right across the street from that Turkey Hill, charged with criminal homicide, burglary, and robbery. Police say they found Matthewson's car parked across from where Moore was staying in Sterling Place. Jarrett says Moore never mentioned the crime and was acting normal even laughing and joking around. Definitely shocking. Police say they also found some of Matthewson's belongings in Rudder's home. They say neither Rudder nor Moore knew Matthewson at all before this random attack. Both Moore and Rudder are behind bars without bail. In Lancaster, Caitlin Smith, News 8.